Hi, this is Roger Chapman from 3PX Power Pads. A uh, quick update on the Hollow Boss Variable Geometry Power Pad incorporated with the VCF Variable Camflex. Um, what we found with the bosses in general is obviously the bigger they are, the deeper they are, um, the wider they are, the more committed you are to the wheel, which is exactly what you want when things get tough or you're jumping or off-road or you like to carve hard in the street. Power pads is what gives you that level of control and that authority over the wheel. Um, the downside with power pads, in a nutshell, is the deeper they are, the bigger they are, the more committed you are. And so this is never an issue until you need to bail away from the wheel in case of an incident. Um, so the entry and exit is important, getting in and out of the pad. But also, there's no point having power pads which, if you don't put them tight enough, then you don't get that level of security and the feedback from the bosses. And it's the bosses what keep you planted to the footplate. And so you have two types of rider out there. You have one which likes them loose and high and great separation. So they're there at the extremes, but when they need them at the most, there's too much separation and therefore you don't have the authority over the chassis or you don't keep your foot on the plate. So what we've created is with the variable flex curve is we've hollowed out the boss and we're creating a certain flex curve which whenever you apply pressure to the flex plate it transforms the load into the bottom of the boss. Also, when you load up on the bosses, that also transforms the load back into the boss because it distorts and changes its curvature. Let me demonstrate. When you push on the block, the forces go down into the boss and keep you loaded on the plate. When you put pressure on the bottom of the boss, it does the same. It distorts, but puts the forces back into the bottom of the boss. Compared to traditional power pads, where they're either slightly loose or slightly too tight, is with this system, it's slightly sprung loaded from the start. So when you put your foot in, it's loaded about five millimeter, very, very lightly sprung, but just enough to give you constant pressure and attachment from the boss and the plate. This is where the magic is when it comes to the power pad. When you need to bail, there's no pressure. It's very, very slight. But when the going gets tough and you start putting pressure on the bosses, they distort and change shape, but the load distribution goes exactly where you want it, which is down and back into the front of the foot. So the sensation while riding between this and my traditional power pad with a solid boss is this foot was always coming unrooted. It's never staying planted. I'm always shifting and moving it because when you're going over lumps and bumps, all these vibrations, unless you have them really tight, your foot's gonna move. What we found is when we ride this, the more we load it and the rougher it gets, the more it gives back. It fights the opposing forces and they put it just where you need it, down into the foot plate. Let me give you another demonstration. When you're pushing on the pad, I'm getting forces I can feel straight in my ankle. So the main thing about this is the more you load, the more pressure you get, the more commitment you get from the pad, and the more stability and the greater control you have over the chassis. But the second you need to release, there's no pressure from you to the pad, and so there's no pressure into the boss, and so it's easy exit, easy entry. As soon as you put time at pressure, it's loaded. It does not want to come out. Release, and you're out. So the variable geometry boss with the cam flex work in harmony with each other, and it's all to your advantage. That's it, that's the update on the variable geometry boss. Thanks for watching. See you soon.